All right. Well, got a laptop, so the iBuy power, unfortunately, its hard drive is boned. And, and now I'm stuck with this piece of crap. I can't play League. I can't play TF2. I want to kill someone. But on the other hand, hey, if this works, at least I can post ponies! So we start off the episode with Twilight reordering her books. No one is surprised. And Spike makes the totally unrealistic request to get just a little bit of a claw massage. You know, totally unreasonable. And then after we get done with the theme song, we finally see somebody else hanging out with Discord. It's about freaking time. Yes, because there hasn't been enough weird stuff that's happened to Fluttershy. Now we need Flutter Orange. Well, after his devious look with Rainbow Dash, I now really need to know what he is up to. I just... Did. I need to know. But then again, the nice thing about that is, I will know. In a little less than 22 minutes. And that Twilight is one of the greatest dangers anyone with power can make. Saying that I don't get blank. Everyone can become jealous. Everyone can fall to pride. Which is of course just going to make this even more amusing. SCIENCE! Yes, the science of friendship. Leave it to Twilight to try to do that. Though, of course, then again, if anyone's going to be able to put any science to friendship, it would be Twilight. And let's be honest, even emotions have basis in science. After all, when you get down to it, all that is are hormones and chemicals darting to and fro around the brain, making you do stupid things. Like, I assume she's about to do. Very good, Twilight. Don't bring time travel in. And very good, Pinkie Pie. Reference back to the future. Dark Abyss, I gotta get around to watching the other movies. I've only seen the first one. Great, Scott. Dark Abyss, Twilight. Falling into that madness a little hard, aren't we? Though on the bright side, hey, we're bringing Sakura into this. That's awesome. And before I return and see how Z what Sakura does in this episode, I'd like to point out something, Twilight. It may not be guffaw-worthy, but somebody dancing in peanut butter jars is at least slightly funny. <laughs> Sakura, baby, that was perfect! Excellent! This, really, the, this bit was just beautiful. She was able to see through Twilight's crap, and also on Twilight's crap. Okay, yeah, I get it. She's had bad experiences with Discord, but Dark Abyss. When are we going to get to the she acts like a friend to him part, except in episodes where we deal with him, you know, trying not to be evil. Just... I understand some people may not necessarily get along very well, but, you know, they call each other friends, but really Twilight, really. Ugh. But Zakora is awesome! That was perfect! Oh. Well, it's official. I'm going to hereby elevate Spike as the patron saint of patience. How long he's dealt with his crush with Rarity, and the fact that he just kind of stood there in silence while Twilight dribbled potion on him. Yes, there have been times when his youthful exuberance gets in the way, but I'm of the opinion just that moment, that was his miracle. Amen. He is now a saint. <laughs> oh, Dark Abyss! <laughs> but, yeah. That and also Pinkie Pie. Just, yes. <sighs> And also, really, that, that'd be me. If I got a drink, and it's mine. Yeah, you know, when people say I'm thirsty, no, they don't mean sexually. No, they mean literally thirsty. In fact, you know what? Though, oddly enough, I'm not alcoholic, and I don't really like alcohol, actually. 
And now the only real question is, was he trying to teach her a lesson, or is he just kind of being a dick? Personally, I hope he was just being a dick in teaching her a lesson, because that would imply a more firm redemption. But, you know what, it still had a nice ending. And can we please get an episode where she doesn't utterly dread the idea of interacting with Discord? Please? Please. All these, oh, we're all smiling at the end, episodes are getting old, since we've now had three of them, and this is one of those things that character development really should have taken over. But aside from that, I rather like this episode. It was funny, and I still maintain that dancing in a peanut butter jar is at least somewhat funny. Freaking purple pony.